Hello Virgo, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all doing amazing. For those that are new to my channel, a very warm welcome. And cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well because this is a general love reading. The roles can always be reversed. They can always be flipped. So Virgo, definitely apply to your situation. Take only what resonates um, or what I'm already confirming that you know to be true. Um, and whatever doesn't make sense or you know that's not part of my story, just toss it to the side. We definitely do not need it, or you definitely do not need it. So Virgo, let's concentrate on those um, for this week that are not in communication with your person. Um, I've been getting a lot of requests. Um, so yeah, for this week, for all signs, I've been doing those that are not in communication. So if you are not talking to your person, if you're still thinking about them, if you kind of feel that they're still in your heart space, um, and perhaps they ended things, um, I'm not on a very good note. Maybe, um, you know, you were ghosted, blocked, breadcrumbed, and, you know, you, you still don't have that closure. And let's get some new insights. Um, let's see any changes that are happening now for you, Virgo. Let's see. So even if you haven't spoken to them since last month, last week, <laughs> um, last year, or even the year before, let's see. If you cannot stop thinking about them, or I don't know if you're feeling their energy around you, Let's see what's going on. Split that a bit better. Here we go. All right, for Virgo, let's see what's going on, please. In your heart space. All right, we've got a highlighted message here for you. Two more. Oopsie, this one flipped. Okay, that's the Nine of Cups, Pisces energy. We're getting a wish being granted here. It's a time of healing as well. Interesting. All right, let's see. So your highlighted message is seven of emotions. This is the seven of cups. Mm -hmm. mm, Scorpio energy right here. Now I'm wondering, Scorpio, towards the end, did you, or probably even throughout this um, connection, did you feel like an option to your person? Like you weren't exactly number one in this connection as well. Um, mm, I'm wondering, did your person have options here as well? Whether you know about it or not. Mm, it's also time to make a decision here as well. What do we have here? Intuition and insight. Very interesting. What is your intuition saying here, Virgo? Yeah, because it's saying here, your intuitive ability, abilities are very accurate right now, so you can trust it what's going on is your intuition telling you perhaps there was someone else or something that was kind of you know the driving force here between fighting you um do you feel that your person is coming back though interesting yeah review and contemplate here what's happening Ooh, you've been thinking a lot here about your person haven't you well honestly if you haven't i'm telling you right now they've been thinking about you quite a lot virgo just reviewing, contemplating, going within, looking at past actions here. Now, the healer here is all about the knights. Yeah, so this will be the knight um, of thoughts is the knight of swords. Someone is rushing in. I have to say, um, there's a reason why perhaps both of you are not, you cannot stop thinking about each other as well. That's the fastest knight. Someone is rushing in here. Six of cups. Yeah. Someone's coming from the past. They're feeling very nostalgic here about you. Yeah. Perhaps there are children involved here for some of you. Yeah. We've also got the, um, the Hierophant here. Taurus energy. And we've got the Page um, of Swords. So someone's watching you. Someone's thinking about you. Perhaps there was marriage here involved as well. Um... Maybe someone was married here. They're thinking about that with you. And the helper of emotion is the Knight of Cups. Interesting. Someone's coming to apologize to you. Someone from the past. This is not over. I feel like intuitively, perhaps both of you knew all this time that well, someone's got to reach out first. And I feel like it will be your person. Five of emotion is a five of cups. That is Scorpio energy. Ooh, so fives are all about, yes, they can be about challenges that are meant to be overcome. It is about transition, transformation, and also regret here. So 
depends what your person did you know if they said something to you whatever they did in the past uh, in action they're regretting it here they're crying over spilt milk here they're feeling quite embarrassed um ashamed like they're keeping their head low here because of what what happened here oh wow they're really regretting here what they've done um but they still got hope that maybe just maybe virgo this can be rekindled with that six um of cups right there i will be clarifying these cards as well the healer of emotion interesting that's the knight actually sorry that's the page <laughs> my god someone here loves you a lot i have to say that burgo it's a time now to follow your heart to the fullest i feel here you've been really filling up your own cup you've been taking care of yourself here as well now you appreciate the value of self-care self-love and being patient with yourself being your own best friend we're getting a lot of cups here there's a lot of emotions here towards you virgo Oh, there is a lot. Your person has deep feelings for you. What's another deep feeling is the regret over how things panned out towards the end. Successful completion. Oh, wow. Yep. Oh, what's happening here? This is not over. I have to say that. I'm ju I just keep getting Virgo. This is far from over. This is a great time of healing, actually. Overcoming those fives. Yep. I feel like you have... So, you know, you've kind of completed that tough cycle and now it's all about starting a brand new cycle here. Wow. This is a new journey. This is a new, this is like a new, um, a, a brand new cycle. It's about wishes and dreams coming true here as well. The Ace of Thoughts. This is the Ace of Wands. Oh, sorry ace of swords ace of wands ace of swords for me it's all about brand new beginnings because it's ruled by thoughts the ace of um, thoughts is the ace of swords so what is it that they want to give you to have this brand new cycle here what do they want to provide you with insight with clarity this is a mental breakthrough here so especially if things ended on a sour note here um some you know some bitterness and anger towards this person here frustration i do feel something very unfair happened here um towards you virgo um you know, they want a clean slate they want to start again on a clean slate and have the road before you clear so if you have a lot of questions here a lot of assumptions they will provide you with all that clarity here i feel like both of these will probably most likely meet in the middle and actually talk and have that conversation here because wouldn't be surprised if the emotions here the love is mutual still Hmm. What is the beating heart of your reading, Virgo? We have the Ten of Action. This is the Ten of Wands. Your person's very stressed at the moment. And I, I, I get that they're stressed because it's like they really, really want this to work. They really want to reach out to you. They really want this reconciliation with that Six of Cups. Everything's pointing back for me, um, the Six of Cups here. They're very nostalgic, thinking about the first time you met laughing together yeah i feel here your person's probably working a bit too hard as well um this could be too many responsibilities too many hours here too many burdens sometimes i i see this card and i feel like the home life or the work life is not the best as well yeah there's too much happening here um this is also um stress related issue anxiety here physical burnout um they, I, I just have to put it simply virgo that this person's not happy um at the moment they are not happy without you that's what's happening here six of abundance is the six of pentacles taurus energy yeah so even though the imagery on these are a lot more softer as well more welcoming the meanings of these cards virgo do not change so perhaps in the past your person was giving too much attention to someone else or something in the past no more no because that's causing them still a lot of stress here um it is their intention with that six is to provide healing equal give and take here as well i'm wondering if your person is financially responsible for someone else or something you know in the um that's happening now in their life they're working very hard to pay off any loans any debts here um and to provide you with equal give and take out with the old in with the new yeah it's time to move into a new direction now 
I feel like your person wants to do that. If there was a third party or if there was anything here that was that driving force between both of you, that has ended now. I mean, Virgo, you may have been guided intuitively. Okay, why don't we move on? You know, see what else is out there or you're pretty much good on your own. Um, just when that happens, boom, this person comes back with a message. So I'm seeing several messages coming towards you, like the olive branch. So this is um, open your heart number six. This is the lovers. Yeah, they choose you. Because it's about choices here. It's a deep soul mate connection, deep soul connection where you feel each other's energy and the love here is mutual as um, around. I feel like Virgo, it's almost like both of you have waited long enough and I feel that they will be reaching out first to you. Yeah, this is now a, a, the time to make a heart decision, not a head over heart decision. Choose with your heart now. It knows what to do, it will never lead you astray. Yeah, both of you really do love each other. I feel like your person here is prepared to leave behind certain things um, as well. We do have, this is, the inner strength is my um, strength card, Major Arcana for Leo. So literally going from strength to strength here, reclaiming the strength of your connection here. Your person is really, <laughs> I have to say, building up their strength, their courage, those inner reserves of courage here to face you as well. Page of Pentacles, yeah, they're gonna, um, they wanna see you face to face. Yeah, they want to offer you something solid now. Yeah, they want a reunion with you. Three of Cups, Cancer Energy. This can definitely show a new phase that's happening now um, with successful completion. Yeah. Let's see. I mean, we've got the World card. Yeah. They want a brand new cycle with you. For some of you, I feel like you want this as well. But what's more important is that you need to clear the air first. We have the chariot, the fastest moving card, Cancer Energy. If you are in a long distance, that's not going. That's not a problem. They're going to travel towards you to see you. Yeah, Six of Cups again. See. Yeah, this person wants reconciliation. It's very, very clear. Yeah. I keep seeing the Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, it's a card of destiny. They want positive change here. All right, we've got a dominant card that wants to come out, so we'll leave that one there. It's a highlighted message there for you, Virgo. Oops. Whoa. All right, so that is a sign to stop shuffling. Let's pick these up first. I don't want to see them. Got the Emperor. Okay, someone's going to be taking action. Yeah, well, they will. All right, here we go. <sighs> to apologize for the outside noise. Um, yeah, just it's a motorbike that went past. Um, I've just, I really, really discovered that where I live is quite noisy. <laughs> so. I wait for them to leave. Sorry about that. So a highlighted message here, Major Arcana. We've got judgment for Scorpio, possibly Libra. Um, this is bringing it back to life, the connection back to life. This is your person asking for a second chance. Um, so it's a highlighted message because they really want you to be aware. They will be making the first move here. Yeah, there's... So we've got the Eight of Cups here, Pisces Energy. So I'm getting here that either your person walked away from you or both of you has decided, let's just end this. So it was like, uh, kind of like, as much as it hurt you, it was like both of you agreed that, okay, well, let's go our separate ways though. It wasn't easy though. Yeah, because see, Ten of Swords, Gemini energy, it still felt, you know, it, it was sad. This ending was very sad. It's about loss, separation, endings, divorce here. And yeah, a lot of you still felt cheated by this person, that they did walk away. Felt cheated by how the situation ended, by the whole connection here. Yeah, they're still watching you though, Page of Swords. This person has not given up on you. We've got the Knight of Wands, my traveling knight. They're coming towards you. King of Swords, Aquarius energy. They've got something to say to you. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. They want a brand new beginning. Ah, Seven of Wands. They're prepared to fight for you. So let's clarify here the Five of Cups. Page of Wands. A lot of messages. I mean, definitely the more pages I see can indicate that there is also children involved here, or perhaps what they did was very immature as well. Um, but they're going to be offering you something. That's kind of like the, the best option, it's like the a golden opportunity, the best offer here. Um, one is also that message can pertain to that five of cups of how much they regret, how much they miss you as well. Wondering if your person could be over drinking here as well, that five of cups. 
just feel like they'd be miserable without you. So a lot of those emotions are going to be part of that message here for you, um, Virgo. So let's clarify here the um, healer of emotion. We have the star, Aquarius energy. Yeah, it's destiny. It is about um, recovery here, healing on all levels as well, even physical. You are each other's wish fulfillment. This is destined. This is far from over, Virgo. I feel like there's there's more love towards each other than hate, for example. I know that's a strong word here. Um, yes, you're hurt. Yes, you feel betrayed. But um, this is far from over. There is a reason, Virgo. There is a reason why this person is coming back, why this can be picked up. You know, in other words, you pick up where you left off. So let's talk about the world card. We are cl clarifying the world with the world. Oh, my Lord. Look at that. So we clarify the world with the world. Amazing. Yeah. Both of you want this. Both of you want this new cycle. That's just so weird that, you know, I always find it quite amazing if I can pick these cards up. We clarify the world, you know, with the world. That's amazing. This is just really confirming. It's solidifying the message here, um, Virgo, that there is going to be a brand new cycle here for both of you. You pick up where you left off and you make it better than ever. It has to be. And definitely these cards are saying that it will be. How beautiful is that? So clarifying the Ace of Thoughts or the Ace of Wands is the Knight of Swords, the fastest moving knight. Yeah, this person is literally charging towards you because they want this brand new beginning. That's why I'm not really picking up, Virgo, that you will be making the first move. Even if you want to, so sorry about that. All right, my apologies for that, Virgo. Um, yeah, for some reason, the cars think it's quite nice to do burnouts in front of my home, so it's a bit annoying. So moving on, um, yes, so literally it's the fastest night out of all the nights here. Um, yeah, they've got communication here. The sword is pointing up here, so it could be a matter of weeks. Um, that this person says, can we have a brand new beginning here? I feel like both of you really want this. Yeah. Clarifying now the um, Ten of Action. That's the Ten of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. Taurus Energy. I'm wondering here, your person could be very stressed, like really beating themselves up here. Um, not physically, of course. The fact that they didn't invest in this before. That they may have pulled the plug on this. Um, that they didn't fight for you. This is a very positive card. The Seven of Pentacles here, ruled by Taurus, by the way, um, is very, it's a very happy card. It means, you know, yes, it's a sex success. I can't even say that word. Successful card here. Um, they do want to get out of that Ten of Wands energy and they want to plant the seed here with you. You know, nourish it, tend to it and watch it grow. So that's very positive. It actually allows both of you to get out of that Ten of Wands energy. So clarifying that Six of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Leo energy. Yeah, this can be successful. Absolutely. All the sixes are all about healing, peace being restored. And I feel like both of you can. This is my success card. It doesn't mean it's going to happen overnight. Both of you are prepared to work hard for this. Yeah. Wow. All right. Let's keep clarifying out with the old, in with the new. We've got the emperor. Aries energy. Yep. They're going to be taking action. This is just confirming to me, Virgo. You've got so many cards confirming that they will be taking action first here. Yep. I mean, the, the, the emperor is like all the kings wrapped up into one. Um, if you are dealing with a divine masculine here, there could be children involved here as well. Um, I don't think that's going to be an issue. I don't think it ever was, though. Clarifying the lovers, you've got the empress. Wow. Now you've got the, the power couple, the it couple, the ultimate... Um, partnership here, the major arcana. Um, a very funny saying here in Tarot is that, well, if you see the emperor and the empress, it means you're probably going to get married. <laughs> if you don't want to, this just means a very solid, committed relationship. It's like the power couple where this time nothing will get between both of you ever again. So you definitely hold each other in high regard. Very strong Taurus energy there. Definitely showing me that there could be children involved or the desire to have children. I mean, that is my pregnancy card. And clarifying here the Strength card, we have one of my favorite cards, the Four of Wands, Aries Energy. So this is Happy Reconciliation. It's my celebration card as well. Um, I would not be surprised, Virgo, that if you do kind of say yes to this person and, yeah, the, you know, everything goes great, which I see that it will, um, you may find yourself moving in. Both of you is moving in together in a matter of months, like four months, for example, here. Um, this is looking amazing, um, Virgo. I really, really like this. I don't sugarcoat my readings or provide false hope. But if you see the cards that are here, I mean, you've got more for you than against you, um, Virgo. I see that the wheel is going to definitely turn in your favor. 
So what would the romance angels want you to know? What would the romance angels want you to know, please? Yep. Yes, this is your soulmate. Okay, we've got a dominant card here. What is it? Yeah. Very soon. This is going to happen very soon. Yeah, sooner rather than later. That's what I'm picking up. worth waiting for <laughs> attraction finances and career okay yes so i do feel here they're doing something with their finances yeah they're a little bit worried that there's unrequited love here that perhaps you don't think highly of them anymore whoa this card wants to come out <laughs> this could be the one one more here we go Give your relationship a chance work on your partnership yeah this separation is temporary i feel like you always knew that having that heart-to-heart -heart conversation and trusting um this process here beautiful um yeah we've got here pay attention to the red flags this is definitely we've got children at the bottom so whatever those red flags were towards the end that will be fixed i'm i have to i'm quite liking this yes it's not going to be perfect virgo we, we can clearly see that it hasn't been perfect but both of these can overcome this i mean you are coming across here as the emperor and the empress that power couple beautiful reading sagittarius i'm a sagittarius why did i say that are you dealing with the sagittarius that is weird virgo i don't know why i said that i do i didn't really see any cards that said sagittarius that's weird if you are dealing with the sag there you go that's a sign for you um this spread has healing written all over it. And I really, really like this, um, Virgo. So I'll leave this here. I will see in the next couple of days. I'll go, I'm going to revert back to my normal readings. And um, yeah, I wish you health, happiness, healing, abundance, all these beautiful things, Virgo. Until next time, Virgo, take care. Bye.